Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how to create a free online appointment booking system for your website using the free Calendly software. So we are going to create a booking system for your website. I'll also show you how you can integrate the Calendly software on your WordPress website and people will be able to book the appointment directly from your website. I will also show you how to create different types of events using the Calendly software. There are different types of events which you can create and start an online booking system for these events such as you can create consultation one-to-one -one meeting round robin you can have collective meetings I will also show you how you can integrate the Google Calendar with Calendly software so that all the bookings will be shown on your Google Calendar. In the upcoming video, I'm going to integrate Calendly with Sure Triggers. As of now, Sure Triggers is free to use and using Sure Triggers, you can integrate more than 100 apps into single dashboard. So we are going to use Sure Triggers and we are going to create a workflow when someone books an appointment. We are going to send some emails or SMS or the WhatsApp message using sure triggers so in this video we will see how we can use the calendly software and how we can create a free online appointment booking system for your website so let's see how does this work do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel watch new videos about website design e-commerce websites search engine optimization social media marketing wordpress tutorials video editing tips and many more press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos so here I'm on the website of the software called as Calendly. So first we need to create an account on this website. You can sign up for free or you can also go for the paid plan. Let me show you the pricing here. You can see the basic free plan here. You can connect one calendar. You can create one active event type and schedule unlimited meetings. Customize your booking link and brand your page. Send automated event notifications. So these are the features of the free plan. If you want to go for the paid plan these are the paid plans it will start from dollar eight per month per account or per seat and you can connect up to six calendar you can create unlimited event types create group events and uh, this one is a professional you will see all the features so you can start with the free plan or you if you want to go for the paid plan you can go for the paid plan so i'm going to start with the free plan here so first we need to create an account so let's click on get started here you can enter the email address and password or you can sign up using your Google account or your Microsoft account. So I'm going to sign up using the Google account. So click on sign up with Google and I'm going to select one of my Google accounts here. And you need to allow. So I'm going to allow it. All right, so we have signed up and also the Google Calendar is connected with Calendly. So all the bookings will be shown on the calendar also. If you want to connect Microsoft Calendar, you can connect the Microsoft Calendar from here. Now, if you want to connect Zoom, you can also connect Zoom. In the upcoming video, I'll show you how to connect Zoom with this Calendly software and how to create Zoom meetings using the Calendly software. So as of now, I'm going to connect only the Google Calendar. So let's click on continue now it is asking you what type of meeting are you most interested in scheduling so here you will see different options consulting or freelance customer success or support educational executive marketing personal recruiting so i'm going to select consulting click continue what consulting or freelance meetings do you schedule so i'm going to select all of these options here so I can select, I guess I can select three options here. So let me see introductory call. I'm not going to select that one initial consultation call. I'm going to select Zoom meeting and I'm going to select 30 minute meeting. So these are the three options that I have selected. Let's click on continue. Now you will see your Calendly account here, how to schedule an event. So you will see this help section here. So I'm going to close this one and you will see event type you can create one event type you can see that create one active event type using the free account let's close this one so in the top right hand corner you will see the option here create so i'm going to click on create and you need to select an option event type so i'm going to select event type and it will be one to one one host with one invitee you can have one host with group invitees and you can have collective that will be more than one host with one invitee 
and this is the round robin one rotating host with one invitee right so i'm going to select one on one now you can type in the name of the event i'm going to name it as consultation consultation add a location that will be in person meeting so i'm going to meet the person or the person is going to meet me at my office and here you will see different options phone call google meet zoom and microsoft teams webex so all these options are available event type i'm going to select in person in the upcoming videos i'll show you how to create the zoom meeting consultation so if you select phone it will ask you what type of phone consultation i will call my invitee or my invitee should call me something like that uh, if i select zoom zoom is not connected you need to connect the zoom so we will cover that in the upcoming videos so i'm going to cancel this for now and i'm going to select in person meeting and uh, let's select in office or you can add your address there if you want to include extra information you can add your location there so i'm going to add the location so this is just a dummy location there and click update so this will be the location that we have added now here if you want to add some description you can add the description all right and this will be the link consultation and this is the name so i can change it to consultation something like that and you can change the color so i'm going to select this one whatever color combination you want you can use that one click next all right so you cannot use the uppercase click next now here you need to set up the availability for the meeting so when can people book this event 30 minutes 60 minute rolling calendar so let's see we have 60 minute calendar days 60 calendar days so i'm going to change it to 30 so it will show only the 30 days of calendar not the 60 days if you want to select a range of dates you can select the range of dates indefinitely into the features so it will be indefinite 30 minute duration for the meeting define how long your event will be so the meeting will be 30 minutes use an existing schedule so if you have a schedule setup you can use it if you want to customize it you can select set custom hours and from here let's say i want to mark it as holiday then i can uncheck the sunday i can uncheck the saturday so these two days will not be available and here you can add your time so let's say i want to add 9 a.m to 2 p.m and after that i have a break and i want to add from 4 p.m to 8 p.m so this is how it will work so if you want to copy times per monday you can copy it and you can paste it for all these other options so all these days will have the same availability now next will be want to add time before or after your event so i want to add 10 minutes before event and 10 minutes after event so it will be like give yourself buffer time to prepare for the meeting all right additional rules for your availability so set the frequency of available time slot for invitees so this will be 30 minutes time slot invitees cannot schedule within four hours so i'm going to set this like 10 hours so i need the people to book the appointment at least 10 hours before the time slot maximum allowed events per day for this type so i want to add let's say i can handle maximum six appointments in a day so that will be the maximum number of appointments that i can handle in a day time zone will be automatically detect and show times in my invitees time zone you can keep it as it is make this as a secret event i don't want that All right now let's click on next now we have created the page now let me see here additional options invite questions so if they have questions they can add the question they can add the guest workflow try it so this is going to create a workflow let's say text notification sent to the host email reminder email additional resources if you want to try it you can try it but i think this will be a paid one so what I'm going to do in the upcoming videos, I'm going to add this Calendly app in the short triggers and I'm going to create some workflows to send email 
to the customer as well as send WhatsApp notification. So I think this workflow may be a paid one. So you need to upgrade your subscription for that. So I'm going to close this one. Next one is notification and cancellation policy. So you can customize these options. Email reminder, email follow up. So you have it, you can personalize it. You can turn it on and then personalize it. So you will see the calendar invitation. If you want to personalize, you can click on personalize and you will see the name, event name, event description, location, questions and answers. Everything will be shown in the email confirmation page. So display the Calendly confirmation page, collect payment. If you want to collect payment, you can collect the payment. But for that, you will need to integrate your payment gateway. So if I go to integration page, so under your account, you will see integration option here and you can integrate PayPal or Stripe in Calendly and you can start accepting payment online. All right, so we have it. So I'm going to save it. Now let's go to view live page. So this will be the link of your calendar. You can put this link on your website and people will be able to book the appointment directly from the link here. If you want to embed the Calendly on your website, you can do that also. Let me show you. Let's go to the account. Let's go to home. This is the booking page that we have created. So here you can click on share and you can use this link or you can go to add to website and I want to use it on a website. So I need embed code. So I'm going to click on inline embed and I'm going to click on continue. So this is the code that we have got. Now, if you want to hide the event type details, let me show you the event type details. This is the detail. If you want to hide it, you can hide that one. You just need to check this box and hide cookie banner. So now if you want to change the color, you can change the color of the button. So this is the color. So if you want to change it, you can select the color. Let's do this one. And now you can copy this code. Now let's go to the website. I have one website here and I'm going to embed this form on the website. So let's open this page. On this website, I'm using Elementor page builder. So I'm going to embed the code using Elementor. If, if you are using any other page builder, you just need to use the HTML block to embed the Calendly code. All right, so I'm on the demo page. I have one section here. So I'm going to delete everything from here, create a new section and click on the plus sign and search for HTML. So this is the block I'm going to drag it and drop it here and i'm going to paste the code the calendly code click update let's view the page and you will see the calendar on your website you can accept or reject and from here your customer will be able to book the appointment on your website so let's say i want to select this date and from here i'm going to select the time click next and here i can enter the name email and if i want to add the guest i can add the guest also that will be guest email list and i can enter the question or the notes or the comments in the comment section and i can schedule the event so let me try it all right so i'm going to click on schedule event now here you will see it is confirmed you're scheduled with this person and these are the details now let's go back to the dashboard. I'm going to close this one and let's go to scheduled events. And here you can see that one appointment has been booked and these are the details. If I click on it, you will see the details of the customer. It has booked the event automatically and all the information will be shown on your dashboard. Now let's go to the email and let's see if we have received the email. Now here you can see that I have received the email from Calendly and it shows the booking details. So this is how you can use the free Calendly tool to create an appointment booking system on your website. In the upcoming videos, I'll show you how you can integrate the Calendly app in Sure Triggers and you can create a free workflow using Sure Triggers. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. 
If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.